Got a little ways to go, but we could hit 70 this evening. It looks so. like, yeah, we have to be patient here with the clearing, but another hour or so, we're going to start seeing dramatic uh, clearing of the clouds and uh, some blue sky. And eventually that uh, bright mid-May sun will help the cause as we push the mercury toward uh, 70. First of all, though, we got some business done last night. We got some rain. It wasn't a lot, but a persistent light soaking rain. Then we had some drizzle this morning. A couple of waves of that time lapse showing the clouds and then a couple of glimpses at the sun. We're going to see more and more of that in the next hour or two. Look at all the clearing going out to the west. So pretty exciting stuff. The skies will clear off. Got the, name, the rain we needed. We had a decent amount, especially northeast Iowa, Ionia in Chickasaw County, 57 hundredths of an inch. New Hampton, just a little less than half an inch. Austin, 18 hundredths of an inch. So not a ton of rain. Rochester, only 12 hundredths officially here at the studio, 16 hundredths of an inch. Showers, uh, well, we could use some more because we still have a deficit. This is the updated total, 2.43 inches, still more than a two inch deficit going back to April 1st. So overall, in the last six weeks or so, uh, a little behind where we should be. Or we'd like to be well, anyway, statistically uh, in the way of rainfall, but there is more in, in sight by the weekend. Right now, the skies are clearing off uh, 58 uh, officially at Rochester, dew point 51. Remember yesterday we were talking about how dry the atmosphere was. Well, we made up for that. A lot of moisture has come into the uh, area of this upcoming storm system as it moves on through and has drawn in that moisture and of course uh, set us up for that rain. Temperatures right now 50s and low 60s. Austin 64. It's 61 in Northwood, 58 in Preston, La Crosse 63. Here's that clearing of those uh, clouds. We have some stratocumulus clouds are slowly breaking up more and more that sun headed our way. Even though there's a weak cold front coming through, that will be the focus of some rain chances southward. More of a favorable environment. In fact, some strong storms possible in parts of uh, Iowa, Missouri and Illinois along that front southward. We're not necessarily in the, the right situation for that. In fact, no rain expected here. High res future track looking at some spotty showers north of us, maybe a couple of showers and some isolated storms well south of our area, but we're going to be in between in the Goldilocks area with bright sunshine, light winds and some comfortable room temperature weather. Around 72, the high will uh, cool off to the 60s this evening with a gentle breeze and uh, then overnight tonight uh, dipping down to the 40s to low 50s. Clearing skies today, a gorgeous Friday, then comes the weekend rain. So room temperature weather today dropping to the 40s later tonight and recovering tomorrow to right around 70 degrees for our Friday with a ton of sun and maybe a slightly more enhanced northwest breeze, but really not a bad day at all. Showers north of us. There's that cold front moving through as we look ahead on future track for the rest of today. Behind that, a light breeze tonight, a little more of a breeze as we see uh, high pressure rushing into the area. So around 15 to 20 mile per winds tomorrow at times. Uh, for the most part, a moderate breeze, though, with daytime temperatures uh, close to 70. And then the clouds roll in late tomorrow into tomorrow tomorrow night and then here comes the first of those showers. A very light scattered shower at activity at first by late morning. More widespread rain comes in for the afternoon and enough instability for me. Rumble or two of thunder on Saturday. Sunday showers, they don't want to go so quickly, so they may hold on with a brisk northwest breeze and so high temperatures may be only in the low 60s. That'll be the coolest of the next week or so. With that, those standing alone as the only rain chances in about the next week, if you can believe that. Temperatures by next week a little warmer. We're talking low 80s by the middle of next week, but we'll have to get past this cool gray weekend to get there. 72 today in Rochester, 73 in Austin, uh, mid 70s in Mason City with clearing skies, a light west breeze around 5 to 10 miles per hour. 48 tonight, light winds, clear skies, and a lot of sun for uh, your Friday. A gorgeous day. A great example of May weather 69. Seven day forecast looking at some showers over the weekend and then next week mainly dry uh, and uh, temperatures climbing steadily to above average conditions. Even some June like 80s basically reminds me that we're getting close to June and getting close to Jess Abrahamson birthday <laughs> season and that's coming up what three 